What's up you solo sojourners, it's Chris with Tabletops and Tentacles, and this is Die Alone, a solo RPG podcast. So welcome to the first episode of Die Alone. Uh, This was sort of born out of the pandemic to a certain extent. We had just started getting together a regular game group. We were bouncing between playing tabletop games and RPGs. And then the pandemic hit and sort of derailed a lot of things. Not only was my brother under threat because he has a little bit of an autoimmune deficiency, but also my wife had a near-fatal hypertensive event that almost killed her and left her partially blinded and unable to enjoy and play games the way we used to do. And at the same time, board games and RPGs started to become a much larger part of our business and our career. And so I wanted to find a way to continue to indulge in my enjoyment of them without completely derailing off into like video games and that kind of thing. And luckily for me, solo RPGs are a big part of the indie RPG world right now. There's a lot of really great ones. There's, uh, just based off of the Wretched and Alone system, there's enough that I could play a solo RPG every night for a year and still have more to play. And I think that's absolutely delightful. I love solo RPGs for a number of different reasons, but one of my lifestyles is that we did conventions for a living. I would drive days to a town, set up, have a flurry of activity, and then drive for days back home. And that sense of isolation and long haul driving is very like part of my soul now, and to a certain extent I really miss doing it. And playing solo RPGs to to some degree is a similar feel for me. I sit, I live in a different world, I kind of escape into my head. It's a vaguely meditative thing. And particularly with this rash of really cool indie solo RPGs, there's a lot of different ways you can go with how you experience the game, how you play the game, and what you get out of it. I love it. I love so many of these little solo games that I've played so far, and I can't wait to dive into them, discuss them with other people that have played them, get recommendations for ones I might have missed, and just see what all is out there. So the plan with Die Alone is to do a weekly episode where I discuss the game I played the previous week, talk about what I liked and don't like, talk about what my experience was playing the game, and whether I'll dive back into it at some point in the future. Not really a review per se, because I feel like you need to be able to play a game a lot more than just a few times to be able to review it, but sort of a first impressions of the game. Um, And then at the end of the episode, I will introduce the game I'm playing for the next week. And the plan is to try and hit every night for about an hour, just sit and play a solo RPG, whether it's the same game for an entire week, or whether I die and start again and play another character or another experience, um, I would like to try and give it a solid five or six days of play, then record my impressions of it. And one of the cool things about these solo RPGs is a lot of them have a fairly low introductory price to get into them. You can get the PDF for about 10 bucks. Most of them at the largest extent require a few things to be able to play. Uh, the game that we're going to play for this first episode, it it needs a deck of cards, four fudge or fate dice that can also just be six-sided dice, and something to record your voice on. And that's one of the things I'm kind of excited about playing with with this, is a lot of these games, particularly the ones based off the Wretched and Alone system, uh, involve recording a daily update or a ship's log or a voice message of some sort at the end of each of your play sessions, sort of recording and logging what happened in that experience. And I plan to do that, record the voices, and then uh, release that as a bonus episode here in case you want to hear my actual experience of playing the game. I think that'll be kind of a fun little extra part to it. 
So for the first game I decided to play, I decided to go with Long Haul 1983. So there's a couple of ironies there. One, I'm missing cons. Two, we think one of the things that may have caused my wife's hypertension is long haulers, COVID. And I really like the 80s, so I thought this would be a fun one to start. This is from Sean Patrick Kane, who has done a couple of other RPGs as well, including Our Ladies of Safe Harbor, a Brindlewood Bay mystery, which is sort of a a cozy mystery RPG that also looks really fun. It's just like a trifold pamphlet layout, which is perfect for it. Long Haul 1983 looks great. It's got really, really nice graphic design, and I love the idea of this. It's 1983, and the world feels hollowed out. Long Haul 1983 tells the story of a dangerous journey through an empty world. You play a long haul truck driver trying to make their way home. Every day you'll hit the road, navigating treacherous highways, fleeing from menacing threats and dealing with the psychological impacts of isolation. And at the end of each day you'll find a payphone, make a call, and leave a message for the most important person in your life. They never pick up. You never stop calling. Using a deck of cards, a few dice, and a microphone, players will create an original narrative of resilience in the face of world-shifting catastrophe. This sounds really fun to me. You create a character, you create their background, you create some adversity, and then you use the deck of cards to sort of determine what happens each day, and then you create that story through this. And it's a system that is pretty tried and true at this point. There are a lot of them based off of, kind of loosely based off of the Wretched and Alone system that have really cool hacks, have really unique different takes on them, and this is one that I picked not just because of the strange parallels to my world, but it also doesn't use a Jenga tower like some of them do, which I think is a great mechanic, but I don't have one yet. So that's something I need to pick up so I can dive into some of those other games. But the other thing that this one does is it has a Spotify slash Apple playlist slash YouTube playlist of ambient background music to play while you're playing the game, as well as set tracks that are triggered at certain points throughout the game. And that it's kind of exciting to me. I'm like really excited about like diving in and triggering a song just to see how it works with this game. So I'm going to be approaching these both from a lonely person alone in the dark playing RPGs standpoint, but also from a artist and game designer standpoint too, just because I'm in the middle of designing my own games. We launched three dice six for Zine Quest, and it's got a heavy solo aspect, as well as like a adventure game book part to it. And I'm trying to learn from these not just not just how to escape my own head occasionally, but also what they do, what they don't do, and sort of letting it inform my ideas about game design. So hopefully. If you're listening to this and you're into game design, it might be helpful as far as that's concerned too, but I never make any promises with my podcast because sometimes it's just me talking to myself and forgetting what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyway, I will be back every week with another episode of Die Alone, and most of them will be solo RPGs. However, I'm very open to hacks of non-solo RPGs to make them solo. I love solo board games, and I might even do an adventure game book now and then, and just sort of see where my shelf takes me, basically. Uh, if there's something that you think I would like, or if you're a game designer that would like me to play their game, uh, feel free to send me a message at tabletopsandtentacles at gmail.com. You can also find links to that, as well as the podcast and our Patreon if you'd like to support the channel at tabletopsandtentacles.com. You can also download the podcast directly from deeplydappergames.com slash alone. We also have a Facebook group called Die Alone, and I'd love it if you came over and joined up. It's brand new, and we can talk about solo board games and solo RPGs and just sort of cool stuff in general. I, I'm really excited about this podcast. It's been a weird, lonely, strange year, and 
solo board games and RPGs has been one of the things that has really helped me keep pushing forward and trying to be creative. And so I thought that this would be a fun way to examine that world and kind of shout out to some of the people that are helping that kind of thing happen. As always, thank you so much for listening. If you'd like to find links to Long Haul 1983, you can find it on itch.io or Drive Through RPG, and I'll have links in the show notes and over at tabletopsandtentacles.com. Until next week, remember that we all die alone. Mm-hmm.